What's going on guys? It is your boy from Land Down Under, Jetman99, bringing you the LDL Season 7 draft announcement. And and in this, we will actually be announcing the coaches, their team names, and in what order the draft will take place for each pick. And and uh, and I'm joined by the thummiest of of all brothers, Thumb Brother 2. Yo, oh, what's going on my thumb thumbs? This is Thumb Brother 2 here. And, and secondly, I, I'm also joined by the latest dude in TLCPG, the Blazing Squid. What a do, players and trainers? It's your boy, the Blazing Squid, come alive. Now, so what, uh, uh, uh this is what, season seven, uh, last season was a, oh, uh, it was a huge success with our champion, who was our champion last season? Mark. How can you forget? Yes, how, how can Mark, I forget? yes, that's right. <laughs> Yes, it was the coach of that Arizona Rock Road. Completely forgot. Completely forgot. Because he beat you, that's all right. Yeah. Okay, so first up, uh, are we actually going to go through the rules and all that? Just so you guys know what the league's about and just the rules that we have, sort of. So, first up, we have the general rules. So, I'm going to ask all of you to please be respectful to each other. Uh, or you just here to have fun and just have a good time, basically. Uh, 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 and if you have any confusions, please, uh, please feel free to message me, and I will, and I will happily clear them up for you. Next, of uh, yeah, next up we have the draft rules. So, uh, uh, okay, so after this, I want to post it to, to the YouTube channel, and we will have a chat started, uh, which is when the pre-draft will occur, and we have, and we have two weeks to be able to complete the pre-draft or else I'll, or else a, la, a live draft uh, will occur. And the draft is in serpentine style basically. Uh, each coach gets 11 ones to draft. One tier one, one tier two, one tier four, one tier five and one mega with also two tier three picks and four free picks from each of the five tiers basically. You are given 400 points uh, it'll basically draft all of your three mons and also your one mega and and if you exceed this 400 points uh, your draft is then invalid and you have to go back and kind of rethink your draft from the mons over the left basically tier 1 costs 180 points tier 2 costs 120 points tier 3 costs 100 tier 4 costs 60 and tier 5 costs 40 some megas uh, and then we have our three mega tiers. T1 mega costs you 40 points. T2 mega costs you nothing. And a T3 mega will it will actually give you 40 extra points to be able to spend on your free picks. The uh, and also and also each coach will be able to draft one Z crystal. For yeah, so so all the Z crystals are for Pokemon. And also the types. Each coach will be able to draft one Z crystal unique to their team. The uh, the pre-draft will occur after this, and with the live draft will it will actually happen on Saturday, the fourteenth of July, if all picks aren't done by then. Uh, and if so, each coach will be given five minutes to be able to to be able to take their pick, or else they will be skipped in the end and be able to pick it up when they come back online and also it is advised that you leave your picks and also backup picks with someone if you anticipate that you cannot be around when 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 it is your turn to pick so this uh and next up we have the battles if brennan wants to go ahead and discuss them <clears throat> yeah, absolutely so all battles must be completed by sunday by 11 59 p.m central standard time cannot be done for any reason let any of the admins know and your opponent know so accommodations can be made for an extension to be asked for seriously it's not that hard guys just ask for an extension if you have a busy schedule don't be last minute oh i forgot if a battle is not completed by the deadline and no extension has been made then the most readily uh team available will get a 3-0 win by forfeit Forfeits occur 
from your team throughout this season, you will be kicked from the league. Battles are to be done on the Nintendo 3DS, Pokemon Ultra Sun or an Ultra Sun uh, Ultra Moon games. As such, uh, the following clauses are in effect: Moody Clause, One Hit KO Clause, Species Clause, Evasion Clause, and Sleep Clause. Uh, there's a there's a more detailed ban list below. First turn Mega Evolution is required. Also, all Omni Boost Z moves are not allowed. Next up, we have playoffs. Brennan, if you also want to go off and continue that. Oh, <clears throat> this season, as a big awesome surprise to everyone here in TLTPG, we have 16 uh, full teams uh, joining us this season. So because of that, we have four separate divisions, two conferences, each with, uh, and each of those divisions have four teams in them. So the top four teams from each conference from the two conferences on each side will qualify for the playoffs. Tiebreakers are decided in this order. Record, your overall league record, head-to-head, potential, -head, and then total team kills. Okay, so... Okay, next up, oh, we have the free agency and also trade rules and the ban rules. If, uh, over Squid, if you want to go ahead and talk about those. For sure. All right, so our free agency and trades. Each coach can make five transactions in the season by week nine. Uh, previously, we did have, you can have five free agency and five trades amongst teams, but now it is just a total of five overall. So a coach may use one of his free transaction, free agent transactions to draft, redraft a Z crystal, maximum of one transaction. So a one-time use to redraft your uh, Z crystal. You can, uh, when you trade or drop a Pokemon, Z crystals cannot be returned to its previous coach. So as soon as you trade off your Ambipom, Ambipom can no longer ever come back to you. Uh, same thing with Z crystals. Like once it's left your party, it is gone forever. All transactions must still comply within the 400 points allotted to each coach. All trades between coaches must be traded within the same tier. So if you're going to trade a tier, uh, three tier mod, it has to be for a three tier mod within other teams. All transactions will be in effect in the same, uh, in the, in the week after it is announced. So if you announce a trade week three, it's going to be active week four. Obviously. So bans. Baton pass is allowed, but you cannot pass positive boosting stats. So no positive boosting stats can be passed. The following Pokemons are banned. All Ubers, Tabu Lele, Sheer Force, Lando, Landorus I, Speed Boost, Blaziken, and Proteon slash Battle Bomb Greninja. The ability Moody is banned. Any and all ways of evasion boosting moves are banned. This includes double team, minimize, acupressure, bright powder, lax incest, Z fan attack, Z smoke screen, and the likes. Okay, thank you for that. So now, guys, oh, oh we will actually get into the draft order and also the teams announced. So, actually, for our first pick of the draft, and the order, and our first coach, in, coach announced, we have Trig, who is a coach of the Kansas City Kingwa. Now, Trig, it, uh, it is actually his first LDL main series appearance, because he actually appeared in our, in our, in our LC offseason that has just previously occurred, and we actually have finals going on at the moment. So, for our next pick, we have Squid. We have the Salt Lake City Swampers and their coach, Thumb Brother 2, who has a YouTube channel. If you guys have not subscribed yet, what are you doing with your life? Like, seriously. Like, how have you not subscribed Just plug it to this up. guy? Just plug it up. <laughs> he is one of the founding uh, members of LDL um, with the other two, which will be mentioned later on. Uh, we also he has made every playoff appearance. He's never missed one, and he actually has a LDL title from season two. Glad to have you back, Brandon. Want to announce the next one? 
All right, <clears throat> up next we have Chris and the Midwest Mill Tanks making his first appearance in the LDL for the main series. Um, apparently he will be getting a pretty awesome logo change, I hear. But uh, we're happy to have you, Chris, and best of luck to you. So, uh, so next up we have, oh, we have my favorite logo in the whole of LDL. It's my favorite. Okay. Uh, and it is actually DJ, who was the coach of the Chelsea Fell Stingers. And DJ actually appeared in our season six uh, season. He didn't do too bad. Uh, and and this will be his second LDL season. Why is that logo so powerful? I know, right? It is amazing. <laughs> like, I'm going to put it out there. I made it and I'm fucking in love with it. Like, I'm in love with it. Like, it's just, ah. Oh. Screw it. Okay, moving on, moving on. Uh, next up for the fifth pick, we have Alejandro, coach of the Lakewood Trevenants. He did change his logo from last season. It's a, a lot scarier than the last one, too. Actually, yes. I, mean, I don't like scary things, but this is his second appearance in LDL. He was participated last season, season six. Uh, he had a pretty tough conference, but I've seen his LLC stuff, and he has truly improved. So you guys better watch out for this guy See, coming season seven. Welcome back. All right, and coming up next is another one of the three founding members of the LDL, where we have Matt, who is coach of the Winnipeg Jellicent. Matt has had a rough offseason, unfortunately, with Little Cup, but he, like I said, he's a founding member, and he has one LDL title under his belt, winning back in season five. So it's always nice to have Matt back. And next up, we uh, and next up we actually have the president of our group, and he's actually a five-season veteran. Basically, Stephen is the president of DLTPG, so and and he actually has an LDL runner-up under his belt, which was actually versing Brennan. Funny enough, and Stephen will also undergo a logo change in the near future. So 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 stay tuned for that. Next up, we have Shay and the, what is that, Lake Erie Gyarados? Yeah, yeah I so. <laughs> All right, so the Lake Erie uh, Gyarados. Uh, Shay, this is his first LDL main series appearance. He uh, he did feature an FPO where he did amazing, phenomenal. That guy went on a 10-game winning streak. He had everyone, uh, yeah, he gave everyone a run for their money. Not um, me, man. He finished up as running our... Yeah, you two were able to stop him. But he did give the rest of us a run for our money. Finished up runner-up. Uh, really glad to see this guy in LDL because I plan to destroy him. And, welcome. Yeah, uh, and I actually believe that it was his first draft league ever, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And he, and he was able to get 10 it stone was. wins. It was. Which actually. was pretty amazing for, for someone of the likes. And next up, Brennan. All right, coming up next, returning, we have Arthur and the Birmingham Aeron. Wow, he changed his logo. That's awesome. But Arthur is a, is a very, very um, well-seasoned <laughs> battler. He's been in many, many leagues before outside of the LDL, and he's like the guy everyone wants to beat, and he even has an LDL title under his belt. So welcome back, Arthur, with the new logo. And uh, yeah. Uh, so next up. Oh, we have a logo change from the Arizona Volcaronas oh. and their coach. Oh. Yes. So happy. I'm sorry. I'm from Arizona. That is a bomb. Yes. Oh, my God. And I believe that it is based off the Arizona Diamondbacks, the baseball team, the I'm pretty Diamondbacks, sure. Diamondbacks, boy. Oh, I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. I hate to break everything up. Oh <laughs> All good, God. mate. Hey. Mark, Mark, I don't care. You have to win. You have to win this season again. I'm I, sorry. You have to win now. What? I no, made the bro. logo, Brennan. I made the logo, and I'm fucking, and I'm proud go of on, it. Go on, go on. Proud Introduce of it. Introduce Mark. Introduce Mark. <laughs> Mark, uh, it is his third season of LDL, and he's actually our returning champion of season six, who was able to beat Squid Out for the for the title, basically. Yeah. So, Mark is a force to be known, and he's a high contender for the championship this season, also. Next up, we got Brandon. And they Moon Valley Mewtwo's. That's that's a pretty kind of almost oh, like a tongue twister. Almost like mm. a tongue twister. But he does have uh, 
one uh, LDL main series appearance, so he's coming back for season seven. He's looking for blood, and he does have one playoff appearance. Welcome back, Brandon. Uh, next up, we have we have uh, we have the uh, runner, the, uh, the head of the LDL, Jesse, who's you know hosting this video right now in this call with the Outback Komala with the new logo change. Actually, uh, Jesse, of course, has been in three seasons of LDL, has made one playoff appearance. And apparently he has a new logo on the way, so I'm excited to see that. But welcome back, Jesse. Glad Thank to have you. you. Glad to be here. And and next up we have Carlos, uh, returning for a second season uh, after making the playoffs last season. And he actually has a team change overall, and it is now the Des Moines Darmanitans, I hope. I, ho I hope it's how you say it, but yeah, but... That logo is pretty powerful. Next up, we have Jordan and the Clearfield Charmanders. That's really cute. That's a cute name, Jordan. Good job. But, um, Jordan has, I believe, three seasons now in LDL, and he plans on returning for his fourth, hopefully a title in this one. Welcome back, Jordan. All right, and uh, introducing now the final founding member of the LDL, we got... Chaboy, the Blazing Squid, Randward, and the Toronto Totodals making their return. Has made playoffs every single season, just like uh, yours truly, and has one LDL title with, I'm not mistaken, being season one? Yep. So no, the, the, nobody's going to talk about my two runner-up appearances and stuff. Just... You have OG a one. champion. Justin Holder, but no, seriously, uh, Squid's always fun to battle every single time, and welcome back, Squid. And also, last but not least, we have uh, we have Coach Anthony, who was a coach of the Victorville Vic Teenies, and now Anthony's a pretty decent battler. Uh, I'm pro uh, I'm pretty sure that he competed last season in in season six, and he's now coming back for his second season. Looking for a title of her. So guys, I will say this that uh, I will say now that you have seen all of the 16 picks and that we actually have 16 players and not 12 like we did last season. But please remember that the draft is in serp serpentine style. So Trick got the first pick, but in round two he will have the last pick and then and then like so forth and so on, basically. Now guys any thoughts about Season 7 and the hopes to come? When it comes to Season 7, like you said, we have 16 teams now. Uh, having to draft this season is going to be extremely more difficult. I mean, yeah, it's, it's only four more people, but when you think about it in the long run, when you think about uh, picks like where Squid and I are, we're, complete, we're at second and 15th pick. Mm. After we make our one, after we make one pick, we then have to wake up, wait upwards of almost thirty different picks. I think, yeah, but upwards yeah. Of about thirty picks before yeah. we can get our next two, almost back to back. It's, so, yeah. a lot of things can come and go in that time. So you really have to plan things carefully. Being around the middle is probably the best thing, kind of like where Shay is, Arthur, and, and Steven. Uh, but seriously, it's it's so awesome to see all sixteen of these teams on the screen right now it just shows that we are growing as a group and that we are just wanting the best for ldl and dude i'm serious like just mark's logo <laughs> logo for a second here because yeah, oh true. my Where gosh i that, just love it, it so much yeah. i love it so so much just, oh hold on just just just, just look just look <laughs> okay i'm done okay mark's logo and then we just have the dj's I... logo like come on <laughs> DJ's I'm just excited. Like... I am excited for this season, dude. Yes. Like seriously, we like seriously. All the admins have put in so much work, so so much work. Mm. We've argued back and forth at so fucking much. Countless We've times. Argued, countless what? times. Countless times. Countless yeah. times. And I'm glad to see that this work is finally paying off. It is. It is. Squid. Any thoughts? Yeah. Uh, same thing, man. Like, dude, picks are gonna be so <clears throat> crucial this season. If you guys had any potential mons you want expect to be sniped 
It's yes. just gonna happen. And we have uh, all of the really snipe like... memes ready for you. All of the snipe memes. Yep. Uh, but I do really like the core players we have. These are very dedicated players. They're, they're, it's not gonna be easy wins. Every week it's gonna be a challenge, but it's gonna be a fun challenge. It will. And I will say that uh, it is an extra 44 picks going down, basically, out of like the normal, uh, out of out of like the normal. Have, have, it's like 140 something that are being picked normally. Wow. It is an extra 44 months yeah. to be picked. They just have to now account for and just be able to sort of play in what was it i think it's uh, what we had 12 teams 11 picks uh that's 132 32 yeah 132 and an extra 44 so that's 176 176 picks wow bro that's a lot of mine plus the 16 z crystals and there were only 18 types really and it and like an extra eight eight uh eight crystals for a specific mod so SBZ crystals, you also have to draft them early, maybe. If need be. That's what I did. That's what I did last year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it again as, this year. As a bit of a clarification um, for everyone listening, the Z crystals are a part of the draft. Like, if you wanted to take one of your drafting spots and draft a Z crystal, that is how you do it. And you have to draft a Z crystal. You have to draft a yes. Z crystal. So if you, yeah, it's just, it's like picking them on. If you want that fiery MZ to get a, you know, a, a Z sunny day Moltres. I yeah. see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got to make sure that the Salt Lake City Swampert Stone get it. So you drafted it literally the, the, the round right before he was going to. <laughs> Still don't know what you're talking about. And so I was, <laughs> so I was stuck with Electri MZ. So like I said, plan accordingly. <laughs> That's the type of the sniping, and that you can, and that you can expect this season. And in saying that, guys, and this has been the boy from Land Down Under, Jetman ninety nine, signing off. And I was actually lucky enough to be joined by Thumb Brother Two and also the Blazing Squid. If you guys want to say goodbye, uh, yeah, I'll do my outro. You guys are amazing. Stay blazing, Squid out. So much for watching. As always. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, ah, I am excited for this season, and I will catch you guys in our in our uh, in our draft live stream. Uh, oh, where the date will be soon to come. So, see you guys and peace.